Hi guys, that's Alex and my Captain Block. Uh, today I have a really interesting topic to talk about. It's uh, about the Ukraine-Russian tension. Or, it's better to say, Russia is planning to invade Ukraine. Um, I guess we all heard about this news and It seems like it's happening even now. Uh, Russia is invading Ukraine, and it's a really hot topic to talk to, to talk about, you know, because we all thinking about the wars and. But uh, let's get back a bit. You know, I was born in Soviet Union. I love Soviet Union when it was still Soviet Union, but I, I know Russian and I can speak Russian and uh, I can I can check the different inf information sources and I'm not really strong believer in something, you know, before, uh, like before I have to check everything before saying. So, but uh, let's look at this. A few months ago, like two months ago, Somehow, United States came up with the idea that the Russia will is planning to attack Ukraine. Somehow, from, from like, I don't know, where did they get this information? But it just came like this. It popped up and, like, the, the media started to broadcast it that the Russia is planning to invade Ukraine. And it was even before Christmas, so it's been like five times already. They've been saying that the Russia, that the Russians have plans, and they, as I remember, it's been already like four or five e exact dates when the Russia will attack. So just think about it. this kind of information. Where did where did they get this from? It seems like the Putin himself told Biden or something like this that they are planning to invite Ukraine so at least you know that you know we are planning so at least you will know so don't worry about that don't you think that's the real case I don't think so it's stupidity it's bullshit so you see in a government from the government point of view they want you to know what they want you to know. They have the medias, they have the news, they have the all the information to push in your head what you need to know. So in this case, what you need to know that the Russia is planning to attack Ukraine. You can ask me what's what the point from all this? I have, I, okay, I understand uh, that Russia is like, it's an enemy of the uh, United States. It's all politic, you know, West and East always fighting. It's been a Cold War. Now Russia and China, they're superpowers. And trust me, in this case, imagine if the world gonna exist without the Russia and China. Imagine it's gonna be just not not just Russia. Okay, take away Russia, China. Uh, then we're gonna take um, Iran, North Korea, and yeah, probably that's all. Imagine what kind of place it's gonna be. It's gonna be the peaceful place. Like heaven on earth. You don't have to go anywhere to find anything. It's gonna be heaven. With all those monsters. Russia, China, Iran, those Korea. The people gonna live and enjoy life. Imagine. US, it's like it's a peaceful, peaceful country. They have a peaceful military. Everywhere where they go, they bring in peace. Take Afghanistan. 
Take Iraq. Take Syria. Take any way you want. They're bringing peace to those countries. Those countries have, they have enjoyed the military of the United States, and now they're they're, they're prosperous countries right now. Imagine, take Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya. They they're enjoying their life right now. After United States visited them. So, for sure, the United States want for every country to be prosperous and, in a way, they, to, to live much better than they live right now. And for sure, they don't forget that they want you to know the, the real information what's happening. They don't want to give you any bullshit information, just the real thing, you know. So, that's... This they know for sure the Russia is planning to invade Ukraine. That that hundred percent. You know. And for sure they want you to know that. For example in Canada, every day right now I'm driving a car and I'm hearing it's the most important news right now. Except the truckers. The second place it's always Russia is planning to attack Ukraine. Where do the Canada they get information? Do they have reporters in Ukraine? Do how do Canada? How do they know? Okay, I understand. United States. They they send the, those kind of papers to every country in the world that the Russia is planning to attack Ukraine. From where? From where did the? Oh, okay. They have the satellite maps of the Russian military. Which, if you're going to look at the maps, that the Russian base located 300 kilometers, there is one Russian base, 300 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. And the second one is 500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Those two Russian bases, they've been there for years and years. They're not new. They've been there. No one been talking about those kind of bases because it's like it's a Russian territory. They can have bases anywhere they want. So exactly two bases which are coming from the uh, United States um, Space Agency, you know. Military build-up. The people, even they, they don't even think. And the, for sure, the United States is saying it's a, the Russian build-up the military near the Ukrainian border. Somehow. Uh, excuse me, they've been there for 20 years. For 30 years, those, uh, those bases have been there. W- w- what's happened for 20 years, for 30 years? No one's been talking about those bases. And what? Bases in Russia? For the Russian military? Fantastic. Imagine how many Russian soldiers we have in Europe. I guess it's a great deal we have. A, do do we, or oh, we have American soldiers all over the Europe? Do we do we have Russian or American soldiers? Uh, seems like we have American soldiers. Yeah, but they're peaceful, uh, peaceful forces. You know, they're all around Europe, all around the world. American troops. And it's, it's it seems like there are no Russian troops. But the Russians are bad. They're so bad. They're inside the Russia, but they're so bad. They want to they want to attack us. United States bring just brings peace. And the Russia, they want to attack us. Which forces do we have around the world? Russian forces or American forces? What the American forces doing anything outside the United States? What are they doing there? Protecting the world from, from, from whom? From Russian aggression? What are they protecting from? They have to be everywhere to protect from Russia and China, you know? They, they have to be everywhere to protect. And the Russia, they're planning to attack. 
China, forget about it, they, they already planning to attack anywhere, in, but it's in Asia, you know. Russia, it's in Europe, you know. And they've been, it's so bad country, you know. Nothing is happening, nothing good is happening there. Imagine. 